hey guys welcome back to another YouTube video and today we're beginning the brand new of my vault series since I've been playing vaults quite a lot on this server so um, well not this server because obviously I'm in creative right now well, I am see um, but yeah we're gonna get into this and well my first episode I was just gonna do quite a basic thing for new starters to vaults because quite a lot of people um, and I know people I've been playing with don't actually know what uh, machines they need to begin. So the first thing that you're going to need is the most basic one of these probably because um, in fact that's what you're going to want to make is this one the basic energy cube because that will just allow you to store any energy yet but what I'm doing this episode is just showing you what the machines do. So we're going to want to grab an enrichment chamber, an osmium compressor, a combiner, a crusher and a purification chamber, a metallurgic infuser an energized smelter say and I suppose that will just about cover it for now so let's start off with the enrichment chamber okay so this enrichment chamber you can see here you've got a green power slot here you can put a battery or some redstone or something in there that will supply power you've got power at the side that's the same with all the machines you've got this place here where you can put speed upgrades so if I go into my thing here and go upgrade you can see here that there's these upgrades and you've got energy upgrades as well. The energy upgrade allows it to store more energy and it runs off less energy and the speed upgrade just allows it to work faster. So if we just grab like some iron ore here and then just grab a stack or infinite of that, let's wipe that in there. You can now see that this is going to go along and once it actually reaches full it's going to um it's going to make a uh or well, maybe not a zero. It's not about zero, it's about five. You can see this is going to make some um, two iron dust. And then with that iron dust, if we now break this, oh, it's in creative. Um, the second machine we're going to make uh, put down is going to be our energized smelter. Um, you may see in this mod pack that there is um, a coal generator. That could be useful, but I wouldn't advise using it. Um, and there is a an electric furnace as well. You can see here there's an electric furnace that actually uses up more resources than this energized smelter does and the energized smelter is better. It just runs off the universal cable whereas if we grab this electric furnace here oh wipe in there. Alright if we grab this electric furnace you can see it doesn't connect to the universal cable. You have to run it off of copper wire. And quite honestly copper wire is um is more expensive. Alright, so we've now seen that makes iron ingots. Cool. Now we're going to move on to the combiner. So certain recipes will require, say, something at the bottom and something at the top. Um, and if you just click R on on some recipes, it will show you what the combiner, what you need to put in the combiner. Quite often you'll need like osmium and something, or or diamond down here and something at the top or something like that. So that's what the com the combiner does. The crusher will just turn any ingots that you have, say if I had some um, Certus Quartz for example, because this can be useful when you're doing ME systems which I'll get into later in the series. If you put your Certus Quartz in there, that will go and crush it into Certus Quartz dust and this will happen with any ingot you have, it will just crush it into the dust. And you only get one dust because it's not an enrichment chamber. Right, so let's move on to the third machine, or whatever machine this is. Um, the next machine. Right, an osmium compressor. One thing that the osmium compressor is very useful for, I'm not, I don't use it for too much else, is if you grab some osmium ingots, which you need to power the machine, you work those in, and then we grab some refined obsidian dust, I think this is, I think this is what you use. Yep, you can see now this is how you make your obsidian ingots. You have to make refined obsidian dust, which you make from putting dirty obsidian dust in a metallurgic infuser and I'll get through to this later on. So you can see here it's made an obsidian ingot and that's very powerful in the game. Right, so the next machine that I'm going to move on to is this purification chamber. What this needs is flint in the bottom slot. Flint in the bottom slot, so if we grab some flint, we put some flint in here. And then again we're going to need to grab our ores again. We'll grab some more iron. There we go. And then all this is going to do is it's going to make some iron clumps. And basically, if you then refine the iron clumps in the enrichment chamber, uh, it will make um, dirt. Oh, hang on, no. You crush the iron clumps in the in the crusher, and then that makes dirty iron dust. And then 
if you then refine the dirty iron dust you get iron dust and then if you smelt the iron dust you get iron so actually this increases uh, how much ore you can get so if you've got an ore that you can't find very much of that is a really useful thing to have actually um, now the final machine that I'm going to do in this episode is going to be this metallurgic infuser um, if you search metallurgic infuser in your two, not enough items whatever it will come up so basically what you do to make to, in this is there are three main recipes and I'll show you what all these are so if you grab some coal um, I'll grab some coal Oh, probably want a stack of that stack yeah okay so grab some coal uh, you're going to want to put that in an enrichment chamber to make compressed carbon just here compressed carbon so whack your compressed carbon in there say and then what you're going to want to make is some enriched iron and this is the recipe for making steel so then you put your enriched iron in here compressed carbon and then that will make some steel dust that comes out the other side this works the same if I grab some tin dust and then I grab some oh, I just want a stack and then I grab some copper copper ingots this is actually a really useful use for copper you can see here it's made some steel dust let's get rid of this put it back down uh, if you do break it you lose all of the things at the side so I wouldn't I would strongly advise being careful about that anyway um, so now if I whack the tin that I got here that will fill up the side put some copper in this is going to go and make um, some bronze if I grab some speed upgrades I'll show you what these things actually do Ooh. you can't actually see the movement but it will generally have a movement going on down here so yeah alright so you can see now that's made bronze now the final thing that we use this for is making um, obsidian dust if you crush obsidian in a crusher this, obs this sort of obsidian then it makes some refined obsidian dust if we grab, no, it doesn't make refined obsidian dust, it makes dirty obsidian dust, there we go put the dirty obsidian dust in there and then if we go and get some diamond dust which we've got here and we put that in you can see now that's filled up the side and this is going to process to make the refined obsidian dust that we used earlier in the in the uh, osmium compressor to make obsidian anyway that has been uh, the first episode in my vaults tutorials I hope you've enjoyed and I hope you found it useful um, so yeah let's um let's keep the series going I hope I was off to a good start and yeah well I'll see you in another video then guys bye for now <laughs>